today anybody goes out there today and doesn't give a hundred and ten percent might as well pack the game up and play bloody golf all right so I don't have to motivate you motivate yourselves if you stick to the system we've played all season it's worked all season and it's got you here stick it out there and we'll win this bars listen just get up. we didn't come all this way to lose since the start of the season. We come here to win it, so let's go out in there and win it. Come on! The match starts badly for Dis when Taunton take the lead. Despite the early setback, the Tangerines dominate. Peter Mendham misses a chance to equalise just before half time. but we haven't put them away. We've missed the goal to head it over the bar past the post. They've had one chance, it's a shit goal. And they've scored. And we're one nil down. So we've got to get back into this game. We've had all the pressure up from five minutes from half time. Sorry. We've got to get it, sell it down because we're giving silly balls right, back. Get, get it wide. Well, get it wide. Get the ball wide and then get it into that box. Get, get shut up and get people into that box. But we've, had all right. a, we've had a lot of the play. Keep the pressure on. The longer the match goes on, the less likely it seems that Dis will score. Referee Kelvin Morton has played eight minutes of injury time and the Taunton fans are screaming for the final whistle. <laughs> Dis win a penalty.
Mark, come inside. Midfield! Kelly, stand back! Come on now! Come on! Sit down. The Taunton manager can't believe it. When the whistle finally goes, Kelvin Morton has played 10 minutes of injury time. 1-1, the match goes into extra time. Kelly, over here! Come on, Lindo. Over here! Right. Come on, Miles. Come on, come on. You listening? You listening? Muggy centre half, Carter centre half, back to Paul Hart with sweeping. Right? Same midfield. Peter sitting there, knock these balls wide, alright? Keep them going wide. Up and back, up and back, up and back. Alright? You gotta do it, buggy. Up and down, up and down. Come on! Come on now. Muggy, no trick it out. Win it, give it. Back on the right. With the players tiring, goal-scoring chances are few and far between. But Dis steal themselves for one final assault. In what could be his last match, Peter Mendham has scored at Wembley. You left it late though, didn't you? Oh, we do every time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they ran their hearts out for you, didn't yeah, they? They did. They did really, you know, that's fantastic, really. I think we've made history today. That's going to be great for East Anglia and Norfolk, really. It really is.
scored the winning goal. I really can't. Thought my legs had gone towards the end. They had, to be honest. But I managed to get up there for the corner. And uh, my real position was on the edge of the box. But I thought to myself, two minutes to go sort of thing, or ten minutes to go, just get in there. And it came straight from the head. I headed it, and the keeper made a terrific save. But I, I was there for the rebound, thankfully. What a terrific way to finish. But, um, supporters were terrific. I can't believe it. Roy the Rovers, definitely.